video in a very, very long time on my vlog channel. It's just been busy, just been one of those things, you know, life happens. But um, today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video that is going to be the I Heart Spring Tag. If you have spent any time on any makeup or beauty channels here on YouTube, you've probably seen this video done before. But what it is, is 12 different questions about spring for 2013. So I'm going to be answering them all about my favorite things for spring, my favorite things about spring, products I like. Stuff like that. I am not in any way, shape, or form a beauty guru, makeup, anything like that. But I do enjoy it and I think it would be a fun and different kind of video for this channel. Um, not really knitting related at all, but just something new and different. So we're going to jump right into it. Question number one. What is your favorite spring nail polish color? Uh, this was a very difficult question for me to answer because I am a huge fan of nail polish and I have a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of nail polish. Um, and I especially like springtime because that's when you can wear some of those more bright, fun colors. Not that that stops me from wearing them any other time of year, but my favorite one was hard to pick. So I have one favorite and one backup runner-up favorite. My number one favorite is from Essie, and it's called Boxer Shorts. It's this awesome purpley kind of periwinkle color. I hope you'll be able to see it. I'm going to put a picture up of what it looks like on my nails right here. I love this color. It is perfect for springtime. It is so bright and fun and cheerful and it's a little bit different and I just really love it. Um, I heard that this can be a little bit difficult to find. Um, I bought this at Target probably like a year ago, but I haven't seen it in Target since, but you might be able to find it online. I don't know about these things, but I love this color and I wear it a lot. My runner-up favorite is from Sally Hansen. It's one of the complete salon manicure colors and this one's called Barracuda. When this color first came out, it was so hard to find. I looked for it everywhere because I really, really wanted it. Um, as you can tell by the color of my room, this is a very similar color. I love that kind of robin's egg blue, springy, tealy, greeny blue color. And this is just such a happy blue. I absolutely love it. Um, and I wear this one a lot too. Another similar one to this, a little bit greener from Essie, is called Turquoise and Caicos. And I wear that color a lot. It is an awesome turquoise color, which I really, really like, and I think it's great for spring. Question number two, what is your must-have lip color? Um, I don't know about must-have, but I'll tell you about the one I've been wearing most often, is this one from CoverGirl, and this is one of their Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balms. Again, I got this at Target, because I practically live at Target. Um, I don't know what the name of this is, except that it says 210 on the bottom, but this is a great formulation because it is one of these um, big pencils that you can twist up, which is great because you don't have to have a sharpener. But these are really great because they're just add a little bit of shine, a little bit of color. You don't have to worry about keeping it touched up and perfect because this is just a very nice neutral baby pink kind of color um, that I've been wearing a lot and it's very easy to wear. It's a good everyday color and I have really been liking that. Number three, this is three, three. Show us your favorite spring dress. I do not wear a lot of dresses, and I don't have any new ones for this spring. I am hoping to go shopping this week to find a new Easter dress, um, but I don't really have a favorite spring dress at the moment. I have a few dresses that I like to wear throughout the year, just depending on the temperature and the weather outside, so I don't have a favorite spring dress to show you, but I don't wear a lot of dresses, so there you go. Question number four, what is your favorite flower? This is a totally easy question to answer. I love daffodils. They're my absolute favorite. Yellow is like one of my absolute favorite colors. It's probably my favorite color. It is just so sunshiny and they're so cute and I love when they pop up and they just look so friendly and I just love them so much. They're a very special flower for me and I really, really love daffodils. So whenever I see them start springing up in the springtime, <laughs> get it? Um, it just makes me very, very happy and I love daffodils. So that is my favorite flower. Question number five, what is your favorite spring scarf or accessory? And I think I'm going to have to pick my Over the Helix cowl, which I knit last year in Noro Aya, which unfortunately is discontinued, but um, Noro Tayo is very similar to it. Aya is a cotton and silk blend, and so is Tayo, but Tayo is a little bit heavier. But anyway, um, this is a pattern that was written by one of my coworkers, which is an awesome pattern that you can buy on Ravelry, and I will link to it down below. You should check it out. Um, it uses two different colors of any self-striping yarn. I use two balls of the same 
colorway of a self-striping yarn but um, this is great if you have like an oddball of silk garden or something like that something stripey that you want to mix in with something else um, it's super fun to knit it is awesome I just love the colors this is a great spring colorway I feel like because you got the purple pink green it's just very happy um, and because it's cotton and silk it's not super warm so um, it's not really really all that cold outside anymore so I don't need a really heavy wool scarf or anything like that so I am a big big fan of this scarf and I wear it a lot so that's probably my favorite spring scarf number six what is your favorite spring trend for makeup or fashion or both I don't know about fashion but I am very excited when I sat down and I researched this because honestly I don't know that much about fashion trends or makeup trends because I'm not the most stylish person in the world but I sat down and I researched it so I could come up with a good answer one thing I read was that neon or bright colored eyeliner is going to be in for spring which I'm super excited about because I am a huge fan of Urban Decay products um, and they make the best bright colors for eyeliner and um, eyeshadow which can be a little hard to wear but as an eyeliner it's a little bit easier to wear and I've been doing that for a very long time so maybe finally I'll be in fashion and I'm very excited because I love spring and I love the bright colors and I'm just excited that that's going to be a trend for 2013 so maybe I will be on the cutting edge of something for once. Number seven, what is your favorite spring candle? This was a hard one to choose from because I have a lot of candles as you can see back here. Um, I think that's most of them. But Bath and Body Works was having their two for 22 sale again and I went a little bit crazy and I bought like five or six candles. Um, and it was hard for me to pick my favorite but I think I'm gonna have to go with strawberry. This is a, I don't know if it's a new smell but it came out for spring. And it's not one of those sickly, sweet, or fake candy strawberry kind of smells. It just smells like real strawberries. And it smells so good and fresh and just yummy and I want to eat it. But, you know, that'd be weird. On the bottom it says, Simple and pure sun-ripened strawberries are highlighted by mango nectar and soft peach blossoms. It smells so good. It just smells like real strawberries, not like fake or anything. It is so good. I'm also a big fan of the pear um, candle and the lemon one which is one of the white barn ones I think um, yeah I really like all those but I think strawberry is my favorite for this year number eight what is your favorite body spray or perfume for spring and I'm gonna have to go with another Bath and Body Works product orange sapphire I love this scent from them it's kind of like a deep awesome I don't know how to explain it it says an exotic Blood orange fragrance inspired by the fiery passion and sun-swept beaches of Brazil. I don't know about that, but it smells really, really good. Um, it's a good citrusy scent, but it's a little bit deeper and a little bit heavier and not too bright and crazy, which I love that too. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. This is one of their cooling mists. I don't even know if they still make these, but I got this last year. Um, and I also have the body spray and I had the body wash and I just really love this scent and I use it and I wear it all the time. I'm wearing it right now. And I smell really good, so um, orange sapphire from Bath and Body Works. I love that. Number nine, what is spring like where you live? I live by the beach, so it's always kind of the weather doesn't change much season to season. It was a pretty cold winter, um, and spring it's kind of like a toss up, it could be anything. It was pretty sunny this morning, right now it's kind of overcast. Um, but it's nice, especially at night now that um, daylight savings time has happened and it's um, lighter outside and it makes me want to go for a walk and it's so nice and just I really like spring it's one of my favorites it's not too hot because it's not summer yet even though it doesn't really get all that hot where I live anyway but it's usually around 65 70 degrees a little light sweater or something is all you need which if you could tell me what movie that reference is from I would be very excited um, yeah but it's just nice and you never really know it could be overcast and rainy or it could be sunny and nice and bright outside you never know so yeah that's where it's like where I live number 10 what is your favorite thing about spring I like spring because you're finally getting out of winter which I love all the seasons I don't really have a favorite um, but by the end of winter you're usually like I'm tired of being cold all the time in spring it's finally getting a little warmer outside the Sun is shining birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming, all those lovely things are happening. Also my birthday is in spring which is pretty exciting because it's in one week from today. 
I'm very excited because I love my birthday and I'm still immature enough that I get so excited about it. But yeah, that's why I love spring. Number 11, are you a spring cleaner? No, I am not. I am not any type of cleaner any time of year at all. I am a very messy person. I did a bit of cleaning today so I could film and you can't see this general area in front of me which is not as clean as the background of my video. Don't tell anyone. But um, <laughs> I am not a huge cleaner. I would love to be but I am just not that organized and I don't have the motivation. Um, I mean my house isn't absolutely filthy but it's not clean by any stretch of the imagination. I'm just pretty messy so no I am not a spring cleaner at all. And the last question, number 12, any plans for spring break or any vacations coming up? I'm not in school, so I don't have spring break, but um, as far as vacations coming up, I don't really have any of those planned either, except that my wedding anniversary, I think technically is still in spring. It's early June. I don't think spring ends until, I don't know when spring ends. I think it's still in spring technically. And we're probably going to go out of town for an overnight trip or something like that. But I don't have any plans for any vacations coming up. Maybe something will come up. Maybe we'll go somewhere spontaneous. But as of right now, I have no plans. So just staying home and checking along. And yeah, I would love to run off and go to, I don't know, somewhere awesome. But such is life. No plans for any vacations right now. But you never know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video something new and different from me. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You can subscribe um, and check out my blog down below. It's a new blog that I just started and I haven't really told anybody about yet because I've been trying to get some content up on there. Um, so I'm going to post this video to that blog. If you want to go check it out, that would be awesome. And I will see you all hopefully soon. Hopefully it won't be another few months until I upload another video because I do enjoy making them. But anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye! Okay, question number two. What is your most... Bleh. They make... There's a huge dog in my yard. I'm sorry. I was very distracted. Oh, there's a lady. Oh, I feel like everybody's looking at me. Um, I'm a huge fan of Urban Decay products.